So if you're truly awake, you understand that the the English language or just well, they mostly the English language, but language itself the words we speak are spells, right? So if the Bible is a scripture I'm really going to annoy people. Uh Let's see. I'm going to look up the definition really quick. A script. You know, you got to play. You write a script. <clears throat> you put words and then someone comes out and acts it out. So it took the writing on the wall for someone to act it out. Could it be that the, the Bible is actually just a bunch of spells? Ooh, it's really going to make people mad what I'm saying, huh? I know. <laughs> yeah, I'm frustrated with life and I'm frustrated with everybody and I'm frustrated with the entire scenario and I, I just don't... Prescription, subscription... You're subscribing to something, you're prescribing, you're taking something in, and script, scripture, it's all about an act. I'm sorry, I'm having trouble. So, when I first was waking up, before I was thinking about Christianity, I was thinking that the Freemasons wrote the Bible. Now I know that's kind of a ridiculous thing to say, but um, I, I really don't think it is. I don't. I, I'm thinking it's a, a very possible scenario. So a script is something written, an original or principal instrument or document, a man used script, the written text of a stage play, screenplay, or broadcast, specifically the one used in production or performance, a style, printed letters that resemble handwriting, a written character, handwriting, alphabet, a plain action, commuting a sequence of instruction or commands for a computer to execute. Uh, automated small tap. Okay. Um, now, <clears throat> wouldn't the holy scriptures? I guess it could be just holy writing would be one way to look at it. But if the word script is is a script of a plan, an agenda. Well, it could be God's agenda. It could be God's holy agenda. I'm, I, you know, I'm not, I'm not opposed to saying that, but A lot to take in, a lot to take in, and I'm, um, I kind of think along the lines when I, okay, I'm going to read you something. So, <clears throat> If life is a drama being played out on a world stage, the argument goes then scripture is the script that gives us our part and lines. At first glance, the, this seems like a creative and helpful metaphor, but let's look a little closer. 
It is certainly true that scripture is a pivotal resource for understanding the theodrama and playing our part in it. But whereas scripture provides crucial guidance, it does not give me specific lines for how I should act and what I should say today or any other day. In fact, life resembles a process of improvisation much more than it does performing a play as outlined by a script. Christians know some general patterns of what constitutes a faithful performance, but most of the details are improvised. <clears throat> if this is a case and scripture is not a script, then what is it? Imagine a playwright, God, who guides certain writers in transcribing a vast collective collection of improvised performances, not recording every word and action, but events, interactions, and ex explanatory notes that contribute to a cohesive story, the Old Testament. These transcripts are based are the basis of further performance by a group of actors, disciples of Jesus, who have the task of improvising creatively and consistent, consistently with these earlier performances as interpreted and enacted by the protagonist and master improviser Jesus. Later, the playwright also includes further transcriptions, <laughs> gospels and acts, and even let letters from various assistant directors, Paul, Peter, John, etc., to their improv troops, churches, that suggest more faithful and creative ways of performing in various situations as guided by the producer, Holy Spirit. In the end, the resources given to actors today is not a script, but a collection of adapted and edited performances, transcriptions, the Christian scriptures, serving as a prescription for further <laughs> I'm just saying all these are uh for further improvisation Christian living. Some of these transcriptions uh let's see I lost my spot. Uh even including predictions of how the play will end, revelation and other prophecies. So the actors are required to reincorporate by memory what is transcribed while pre-incorporating with hope eliminates element of oh, let's see with hope elements from the ending in this model the actors have freedom to improvise within the overall direction and structure provided through a collection of transcriptions and prescriptions or prescriptions i realize this is a lot to imagine at all <laughs> all at once. So allow me to summarize. Scripture is not a script, but a transcript and a prescript. Scripture is a transcript because it's a record in a variety of literary form. The improvised performance of God's peoples that constitutes one unified drama. Scripture is a prescript because it is invites our participation in the same drama as transcribed by scripture. The Christian's life is not a matter of improvising however we please, however we please, but continuing the theodrama in ways that are fitting not only to scripture, but tradition, the church, and the particular contents in which we live. Yes, this is still improvisation. Some people misunderstood improvisation as something done with complete spontaneity and freedom. But in reality, the best theatrical improvisation is that which is consistent with what has come before and that which displays a fittingness within various constraints, such as other actors, the audience, <clears throat> and the stage. Calling scripture a trans. Uh, transcript and prescript rather than a script does not devalue its authority and, and role in the church today, but seeks to understand exactly what kind of authority and function it has. As it turns out, scripture is a primary way we know the drama in which we are participating and it frees us to improvise with creativity and fidelity. 
Huh. Well, <laughs> the world's a stage, huh? Okay. Well, let's let's leave it at that. I don't know. I'm just throwing stuff out. We're talking, sharing. I still care about you guys. I still love you. I'm still confused. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> the joke could be on me. Who knows? I don't know. We're figuring this out as we go along. All right. Well, I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.